Wine Weirdos, I'm Mike, here with Shane from PBJ's in Portland, Oregon, and we're checking out the 2008 Columbia Valley Hestia Cellars, uh, they call this, it's just their 08 Red, but it's basically a combination of Cabernet Sauvignon, Petit Verdot, and Syrah, so we've got a little blend action going from Washington State here, and right away on the nose, it's kind of some brambly fruit coming across. I, I smell the, almost has like a cedar in Get a little that, that cedar and, and wood. I was gonna say oak, but I think cedar might be even more specific. And way down there, I almost get a little bit of cigar, which I like. A little yeah. bit of wet tobacco or something. Not not real dominant, but maybe a secondary note. Wow, that is a uh, pretty serious it's, yeah, wine. Pretty serious. I'm, <laughs> yeah. I'm almost. Uh, I'm trying to catch all the flavors as they're dissipating. Um, right. It's it's not uh, the tannins aren't extremely high. It's it's got a nice mm -hmm. kind of clean finish. Almost leaves that that kind of smokiness. Uh, mm -hmm. I get that really smokiness from the, the finish there. This reminds me of the better wines I've had from uh, K, from K Charles Smith Cellars, also a Washington State guy that we're real fond of. This is this is competing with some of his best stuff that I've had, and his bottles go for like some of them like a hundred bucks. Wow. So. Whatever this one's coming in, I know it's not up there in that in that range, but this is definitely premium quality. To me, this is like a 92 to 93 point wine, and that's just off the cuff here on a Friday afternoon where we're kind of having a little bit of fun. We're having we're pairing some PBJ sandwiches here. We have one called yeah. the Hot Hood. Yeah, this is the the our version um, of the well, this is the Hot Hood. It's mm -hmm. it's uh, it's applewood smoked bacon, roasted jalapenos, a mm. black cherry jam, and uh, our peanut butter, PBJ's peanut butter, and then we wow. take everything and put it on our flat grill. So this is, mm. I think, going to be a great pairing with, yeah. with this wine. While the bacon and the jalapeno are just like slamming. They, the jalapeno is just spicy enough to really give you some serious kick, but uh, not overriding the bacon flavor by any means. And the, the decadence of the peanut butter and jelly, this is a real treat. I was a little apprehensive about this pairing. Could this be taken it too far? Could this be a little too weird for the wine weirdos? <laughs> but no. And now I'm dying to see how this Hestia Cellars Red uh, works with this. Absolutely. I think the the smokiness of the bacon is, is actually going to really pair well. That that kind of meat, strong meat flavor with uh, with this uh, wow. this blend is going to be fantastic. It actually, yeah, it brings out a little bit of a little bit more acidity in the wine. I would say. Yeah. But you really gain a sense of the structure of this wine. This wine is built to last. I can see this going wow. eight to ten years. You know, come around twenty twenty, they'll still be here doing the hot hood. <laughs> probably have a they'll probably be nationwide, worldwide by then. Who knows? They're opening a cafe soon. Absolutely. We ultimately want to pair the sandwiches with beer and wine. So I think this is great. Thank you for uh, having us and, hey. and being a part to, to kind of the preliminaries of uh, tasting with some of these sandwiches. Thank you. Yeah, this is this is a dynamite pairing. And uh, when you're in Portland, when you're doing the wine tasting in the Willamette Valley, sneak up to Portland and come by PBJ's for lunch or dinner. Some seriously uh, diverse <laughs> peanut butter and jelly sandwiches going on here. Thanks a lot, Shane. Thank you, Mike. I appreciate it. We'll be it. back with more on Wine Weirdos.